Hello everybody and welcome back to KBW. It is the greatest commentator you will ever hear. Mike the Doctor Goodman breaking down all the commentary action for you with my partner Justin Williamson. We are live from Mobile, Alabama. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube, and make sure you watch all of the videos and all the seasons. Tonight we have some very special action for you. Take it away, Justin. Well, as before I was rudely interrupted, we're going to have some great action for you here tonight. You know, I'm sorry you folks have to hear this whiny voice my partner has. He's just a horrible commentator, but what can I say? Mr. O sucks at hiring people. But uh, let's go ahead and bring out the first man in this matchup. He is none other than Big Time Mike. Cut my music, boy. Thank God on heaven today that Justin Williamson is back and I don't have to listen to Mike the Dr. Goodman's bitchy little voice. You see, Mr. O finally, Mr. O finally gave Big Time what he wanted, a match for his show. Tonight I face none other than the creepy bastard Hazard. So all you Big Timers, retweet it. Big time versus hashtag creepy bastard. It's big time, baby. <laughs> big time with some strong words there. Colin has a creepy bastard. Now let's bring out your Native American champion. He fought last Sunday and now he fights here tonight in a non title match. Big time can definitely prove himself tonight. He is hazard. Kids, this is why you don't do drugs. Tonight, Hazard has an appetite for feet. Look at that freak of a man. Just such a freak. He gives me chill bumps every time he comes out to this ring. He's Get getting back. close. He's getting close. Get back, you sick freak. He gets to fight this big time load of crap tonight. All ready for the match. All ready for the match. I'm big time, baby. A special guest referee tonight. Executions member, Jacob Storm. There's the bell. Now this is official. We can finally get this started. Big time. Makes the way back in. And then rakes the eyes. But Hazard doesn't even look as like he has any eyes. And now look at him. Look, going for a low blow. Hazard going to bite the foot. No. Big time, Big Mike. time He's smart like the enough. scared whip he is, no. gets out of the ring. He, he's smart enough to get out of the ring. Would you want your toe bitten off by that freak? You got a freak. You got a queer referee in. The only good man in this match is Big Time Mike. Hey, don't make me throw you out of here. And you got a bat commentator like myself. Come here, boy. As well, don't forget that. <laughs> Big time back with the advantage. Gives Hazard a huge right hand. Now stomping a mud hole in this orange creep known as Hazard. Well, you don't even know how to count to three. You count it fair, I'll promise I'll break your little fat headed ankle. Talking about that big time ankle lock. Giving Hazard everything he's got. The Native American champion, though, knows how to win matches. He's done it before. Boys and girls, it's big time, baby! Big time Mike, so full of energy, 
He's just a rising star here in KBW. He could be one of your, your next world heavyweight champions. He just got so much enthusiasm about everything he does. I don't know about world champion, but there's a title in his future for sure soon. And that's why he gets to prove himself against the champion right here tonight. Only a near fall there. What is he doing? He's in the ropes. He can't do that. It's illegal. He's going to get himself disqualified. Shut your mouth, doctor. At least you know the title. Get it right. I poke big. I do big. Everything I do is big. This is the big time punch. Huge big time punch. My so sister hits it. harder than that. You seem a little mad, Mike. Uh, big time gets me riled up. Yeah, He's all talk. That's about all he is. And again, big, Mike, big time Mike. Gets out of the ring before Hazard has a chance. No he runs legal. away. There's no way that's legal. There's no way that's legal. It is. Big time Mike trying to regain himself outside the ring. Oh, and then a huge clothesline, a unique clothesline from Hazard. Oh, and then a spin kick. No, caught. Now he's working right on that ankle. Big time Mike is setting up for that big time ankle lock. It's big time, baby. Huge fall away slam there. And it has to just outside out of the ring. ring. It's big time, baby. He keeps what? repeating himself. Oh my God. It has to just come up on top of the ladder and just slung it. And here comes oh. Big Time trying to jump, jump on the hazard, ah. but he falls short. Hazard goes back inside the ring now. From oh. summer to fall. Bye. Mr. Orange uh, Hazard. Uh oh. He's uh, so weird. So uh, maniacal. So demonish. Uh, oh, now they're trading some shots in the back. Oh, now look at him. The way he grabs his face. Oh, come on. One, two, three. <laughs> And Hazard could have almost yeah, gotten disqualified. One. Come on now. Two. Going at it on. on the outside of the ring, these two men. Three. Get back in the ring. Now big time. Four. Finally got some leeway here. And just throws Hazard One. back into the ring. He is a strong man. Two. Such strength from big time Mike. He's got so much potential. And if you he see. can beat this freak of a man at a mark another proven fact about big time Mike. Huge DDT there. You see, you saw that Jacob Storm let him have a little bit more time outside the ring since he is a wrestler. He knows what it's like to be on the outside of the ring. He wanted to see those guys go at it. He wanted to give them guys some leeway. He wants to show y'all all the action. He didn't want to double count out. Cover there. And only a one count. Oh my God, he jumps on the ref. <laughs> Rip throws him back in. Still not going dis to disqualify him because he is a wrestler. Oh. Huge slam. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the greatest elbow in sports entertainment today. The Big Time Elbow. The Big Time Hell No. Oh. Huge elbow there. Dropped by Big Time Mike. Could be it here. And no, just a kick out at one. Didn't seem I'm like hoping. You get back over there. I'm about to knock you out. So you have to go back over there. I'll tell you what, Jacob Storm will take a lot more crap than all our other refs. I'll tell you that. He wants to see these guys have a good match. Oh, a huge move there. Kind of one kind of version of a summer to fall. Oh, now look at him. Going for that surfboard type maneuver. He stands on him. He drops to his knees. And then an elbow to the lower back. You know what that does to a man's spine, Justin Williamson. You should know, Doc. Cover now. One, two, and only a two count. So Jacob Storm and Cage still a tag team? What's the deal with that? They're still execution. I think they're still going strong. But speaking of tag teams, I'm hoping to get an interview with Big Time Mike. Whatever happened to his partner, Dominic Rod Robertson? I don't understand the dream. Look at this. Has it going all over the place in a huge backstabber. 
I think Big Time Mike was a little too big ah. time for Dominic. I believe that's might have what ha been what happened. Ah. Cover now. One, two, and no, only a two count there. But has it got going for him now? Oh, he caught him. He caught his leg for the spin kick. And now into the BTA. The big time ankle lock. It's the big time over. ankle lock. It's got to be over. Has it has to tap. No, no, no. Uh, oh, has it rolls through. And now he's got his foot. He's got his leg. And he's biting the toe. The creep has an appetite for the man's foot. Oh, my God. That weird psychomaniac hazard was biting the toe of Big Time Mike. But wait a minute, there's a roll up. One, two, three. He had his foot on the freaking ladder. It shouldn't have went like that. It's over. Your winner is Big Time Mike. No matter how he won, he is your victor here today. Oh, and now he's going after Jacob Storm. What he rightfully deserves. Oh, and Hazard comes from the inside of the ring diving on the big time mic. He's grabbing that title he's obsessed with, his Native American championship. My music, my friend. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you to another edition of the greatest talk show in the world. Hold on, I'm sorry. The official KBW Big Time Talk Show. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you one of my very good friends from in the back, the former world heavyweight champion, the leader of the greatest faction in KBW today, none other than Mr. AK. 47. Let me stop you right there. Appreciate you calling us the greatest. It's the truth. Won't like lies. How nice you doing tonight, Mr. 47? Doing pretty good, big time. Pretty good, pretty good. I want to talk to the fools for a second. As you know, I was a KBW talk show host, and I was the best KBW talk show host ever. And sorry to bust your little bubble, big time. You're always going to be second place. I'm always going to be first in a KBW talk show because I was the best and forever will be the best KBW talk show host ever in the history of KBW. Let me stop you right there, Mr. 47. You see, the key word there is you were one of the greatest talk show hosts. But the time is now, as my good friend Mr. John Cena would say. And today, Mr. Big Time is the greatest talk show host in the world today and I will forever be the greatest talk show host. Now, on the bigger, better things, and you notice when I started the show, I called you Mr. 47, because I, I do believe so in the bottom of my big time heart that AK is a little overrated, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna call you Mr. 47 for the duration of this program, if you don't mind, that is. Let's just get this rolling with. Okay, got time for this. my first question tonight is, is what do you think about these, these fans that, that tweet you on Twitter blow up your, your page, they just tag you in and they just say that Cage is better than you. What do you think about that? What is your professional opinion about those fans? I really could care less of what they think about AK-47. I could care less what anybody thinks of me. I'm the assassin AK-47. I know what I can do in that ring. I know <laughs> what I can do. Cage is not better than me. He would never be better than me. The only reason he beat me in the first place was because I had a hurt leg at the time. I was not 100% and he knows it. I don't see why he thinks he's the champion right now. He is not a true champion. He could not beat me if I was 100% and he knows it. Sick and tired of these fans thinking he's better than me. He's nothing. He's a nobody. Now, Mr. 47, <clears throat> there is one fan that many would say, many KBW historians would say that Mrs. Flash is the number one KBW fan of all the fans. She is the fan of all fans. What do you think? What is your professional opinion about this young lady? Well, I don't know about number one fan. She might be number one at some other things, but anyway. Can he say? I'm sorry. You go ahead. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Miss Flash, 
Everybody's behind this girl saying she's the number one fan of KBW. Cage is behind mm -hmm. I heard he's making signs, doing all kinds of crazy crap. For this one girl, for what reason, I do not understand. I don't care about any fan out there. I sure as hell don't care about this little whore who thinks she can come around here and talk about me. She... Let me, let me tell you something. She don't know who I am. I am who I am, and I'm different from everybody else. I'm the assassin, AK-47. You don't talk to me the way you do. These are the renegades, and we are here to stay. She looks... I, I, I ain't gonna say anything mean or nothing, but to me, she looks like a horse. Them teeth are a little, just a little too big for her mouth, if you understand what I'm trying to tell you. But... I can't really say she looks like a horse, but I actually think horses look better than she looks right now. <laughs> well, well said, Mr. 47. That's a great opinion from a very educated man that, like yourself. But my next question for you today is, there, I have a very, very negative opinion about the owner of this company, Mr. O, as you probably know, because he is not a very big fan of myself, and obviously not you as a renegade. So, <clears throat> do, you, do you think that there's a conspiracy going around that Mr. O has favorites in this company. And if and if you do think there are, could you name some out for me? Just in your your mind, and what do you think are his favorites in this company? Who do you think his favorites are? You damn straight, big time. He does have some favorites in KBW. I t I, I'll be the first to tell you. His favorites are Cage. He always gives Cage a rematch. For, for some reason, as you, everybody can notice this, Cage is, is trying to fight me at every single pay-per-view. He's in every single title match, and I always beat him every single time. And at Bloodthirsty, I finally shut everybody up, proving that I can beat him fair and square, and I did. And what? Mr. O gives him another rematch for no, for no reason at all. That's why I think Mr. O and Cage are in the back trying to, you know, control KBW. I think Cage is still the owner of this place. He is just trying He's just trying, you know, to put Mr. O on the spot to, to show everybody that he's not over KB Dude when I know he really is. He's trying to fool everybody just like I fooled everybody when I joined the Renegades, when I was showing everybody that I am the leader of the Renegades at that moment. Which that was a very, very great on your part. That was a great move by your part. But now we have to move on to the next portion of the show. It's one of my favorite portions of the show. It is called the Big Time Questionnaire of the Day. It is where fans, people that don't even like the show, they send in questions to my email where I read them out and, you know, these might have your name in it since, it's supposed, since it was announced earlier last week that you were going to be on my talk show. So tonight's first question is from Jack Johnson, all the way from Memphis, Tennessee. Jack writes, big time, <clears throat> what do you think about Mr. Rose's obsession with screwing AK-47? Mr. 47, I will let you answer that question since you're obviously the subject in that sentence. Well, Jackson from Memphis, Tennessee, <laughs> I got something to tell you. I think Mr. O is screwing me because he knows I get his money, but he do not he does not want to admit it. He knows I make all the dollars in KBW. Why do you think he hasn't fired me yet? Because he knows I make all his money. He just don't want to admit it. He might hate me, but he knows he should respect me because I make every single cent, every dime in this company. Okay, <clears throat> we're running out of time, Mr. 47, I'm sorry, because you have such great and educated responses. But today, my favorite portion of the show, as many of you big-timers know out there, is the Big Time Loser Award of the Day. This award can go to any recipi recipient I deem necessary to receive this award. So today's Big Time Loser of the Day Award goes to, would you please give me a drum roll? No, I wouldn't. None other than Mr. Not Better Than Me, Cage for screwing this company over and screwing over my life and my business with his partial owner, Mr. O. Now, Mr. 47, earlier on in the show, you said that you were the greatest talk shows. You were the greatest talk shows. But let me tell you something, son. This is my talk show, and you will never speak to me like you spoke to me at the beginning of the show. You and your little boyfriends here can take me through on one any day because I'm not with you. I'm not with execution. So, boy, what I'm trying to say is, Mr. 47, you might want to watch your back before I break that little skinny ankle and I bust your nose and I break you in half, little boy. Get in the workroom. Come, come work out with me and see how long you last, little boy. Shut up, please. <laughs>
You oh, do not talk up. to me that way. Oh. I am the assassin, Naked 47. You are witnessing Let's greatness go. right this now. This is my ring. I live in this ring. It's, come on. You want to wrestle? I'll wrestle you right now. Let's dance, Let's boy. go then. Let's dance. I'm ready. Oh. 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 You ain't got nowhere to go, Kane. Nowhere to go. We're going to end you while we did Pac Man. Just like. Ha ha. You almost hit me. Get him, Rick. Get him. Get him. Come on, Mick. Get your ass in here. I'm ordering you to get your ass in here. Get in the ring. What are you doing? What are you doing? Apocalypse. Necessary. Let's go. You are witnessing greatness. Pick this little pussy up. Renegade drop. Oh, oh, what the oh. hell? <laughs> He's like a ninja. Oh. 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 I got you, you fat piece of shit. Ah. It's like lifting weight. Ah, not today, titties. <laughs> Damn it, we forgot about T Rich. You'll be good, buddy, to your hood. T Rex. My bitch, now. Ah. Not you too, folks. For Nick Frazier, season two. Check it out. <laughs> 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 uh, uh. Why are we watching him get through? Let's get back in the ring. Can't. Get back in the ring, man. He's going up. If you do it in that ring, you'll be free. I didn't go? see you help us out. You sit out that ring. For what? I ordered you to come in there. Ooh. What did I do? Come in there and I did. Mean, we should be helping you. Ah. He's like a brother us even me. I got a fair fool in there. Why don't you go get the beast? He'll probably try to eat us. Oh man. The beast is at a Mexican restaurant right now. Leave him alone. He's probably with you. Come on, T-Rex, you good? I will come help you. Come on, man. You got this, T-Rex. Oh. Ah. Come on, are you alright? You alright? You good? You good? I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to help. I, I really tried to help you. I was watching you. You had it. Thank you, Flash. And for all our fans out there. FL Dog 726. I achieve you. You see. Oh. Together. The hell Take are you doing? Stop. Man, they can't have a thing in common. These fans, they mean nothing. Hell yeah, Bulldog! This will be mine.